I'm Grandpa of the farm. I'm uh, I'm Michael's uh, father-in-law, and uh, I've got a little little experience uh, working farms back in the early '90s when uh, his wife, my daughter, was probably about nine, ten years old. I was a ranch manager on 2,500 acres, running about uh, 600 head of Black Angus, and we've kind of uh, grouped together on this uh, family project here, and uh, I'm trying to use a little of my larger scale knowledge to come to the homestead and again today we're going to be doing a, uh, a an electric fence to try to keep our bull on our side of the fence instead of going over and visiting the, the neighbor's beautiful heifers down your work area all the way down <clears throat> start with your electric fence control panel for this project you're gonna need galvanized electric fence wire you're gonna need a ground rod And ground rod clamps and I'll add the list at the end of this um, and we also got some t-post wraparound extenders to put our galvanized wire through and then you're gonna need t-posts on which you're gonna put that on all this stuff we got at a uh, tractor supply All right, the first thing we did for real is we put our control box up on the, our wooden post. Up. You can actually install this on a backboard and then install it on a post or it actually has room for you to use the two posts underneath as well if you can see that. So again, when we started off, uh, we had to decide we had to decide where to uh, put the, the actual uh, box decided midway of the total length of the wire fence we're going to be doing and uh, so that's why we chose this particular pole. I'm going to go ahead and set this uh, ground rod. Now there's a good chance with as much as we need to run we need to do multiple ground rods but we're going to start off with one and see what kind of a uh, an effect we'll get out of this particular unit. And here's where we go. Here, you can see, where is it? Oh yeah, there it is. We put it in where there was two inches left into, the rest is inside the ground. Well, on that one, let's hit this one. And we're going about every 20 feet or so. on the line. We've gone through and put these extenders all the way down every 20 feet is what we ended up doing. So we've come down to the far end. We drove a T-post deep in to give us some support. We're going to tie off to this post which is right here by Tempe Creek, so they won't be able to get around it. And then we're going to go ahead and run our main line straight on down this entire run. And what I've done I bought, is I brought us some, uh, this is some line off of one of our old sprayers, and 
I'm going to run the wire through the line and use that as an insulator on this post. So, get to the post. Pull up some more wire. So I'll need some tile wire. like nice tight coils. They don't slip as much as if you got loose coils. And I'll go ahead and leave my tag in in case I need to redo something before we're done. Again, I'm just going to use this to hold everything in place so we can get that pull without this end popping off. Alright guys, I just wanted a quick update of uh, what I've done. Uh, again, Michael had to go back to the house and uh, do some of his actual real job. And so I'm out here and I'm uh, trying to finish up some of this uh, work on this electric fence. So what I've been doing is I've gone to the other end of this first strand and I have set another T-post show you that real quick I've also stretched the wire enough and I've gotten underneath it and cut out any of the uh, weeds or anything that get close to the wire so again here's the other end and this will also be the area where we'll be putting another gate in more post so this is actually just kind of a temporary fix right now so again, I've run it around through another piece of, of our uh, tubing and just temporarily run that piece of wire so I can get the, uh, the stretch on it. And what I'm also doing is uh, tightening up some of this wire so it stays away from the electric wire. And I say tightening up the wire, that's the original field fence. All right, guys, I'm to the point where I'm going to go ahead and hook up the ground wire to the ground lug. And again, I like to strip back plenty of copper. So I'm just working that. It'd be nice if I had my wire strippers with me, but I don't. And another important thing is to remember when you turn your hook to turn it in the correct direction for the way this thing screws on so you're actually tightening the hook instead of loosening it. So I'm going to turn my hook that way, trim my tail. to ground.
we're going to go ahead and run another wire. We're using the same green coated wire from the positive side down to our actual wire. So it's running off here, going to run right back into the post and then come out and actually curl the wire. Now I'm a personal fan of, and I'll probably do this in the very near future, run a little bit of solder on this. So I'll just come out with a torch and some silver solder and solder this just to give it a better connection. All right, so I'll go ahead and twist this wire on. And again, use a num uh, 12 gauge solid copper coated wire. Something else I've done is I just modified it, another one of these extender insulators. And what I'll do is I will hook this one on like so, and we'll just screw it right to the post. quick staples hold that wire in place and we will uh, walk the fence again and get the rest of any uh, weeds or anything that are close to the wire or tighten up some more of this uh, field fence like I did on the other side and uh, then we'll be ready to turn it on and give it a try Michael you get to test yeah. it <laughs> Live. Added these flags so that it you should see a flashing light to indicate that it is working it on. Don't forget to subscribe. No, do it again. Oh. Ready? <laughs> That's, That's it. it, guys. We're doing it together. <laughs> That's it, guys. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Sub -sub subscribe? Let's redo it. No, just keep going. I'll edit it. So just. That's, That's it, guys. guys. Don't, Don't forget, forget to, to subscribe. subscribe. Oh, not describe. <laughs>